Hello, hi, hola, handle and greeting. This is what this video is about. Having both Blender 2.79b and the latest version 2.8 beta at your fingertips on the same computer whenever you want. I think I might be on to something. Look, I've got two running right now. This isn't me showing off, this is me learning. I can maximize something and then Alt F11 after I get rid of the splash screen and get my very old familiar 2.79 face back all the while having access to Blender 2.8 so that I can experiment with the differences that exist between the two. And indeed, the differences are plentiful. So I have just done this a few moments ago and some of my favorite familiar hotkeys still work. That was Shift F5 to get back into the 3D view, and then up here it should be Shift F9 to get back into the outliner. So what is it that's going on that allows us to have two, not one, different Blender versions at the same time? If we run both, we run into a little problem of changes we make to the program affecting both versions of Blender. So how do we avoid it? It's this easy. I'm going to walk it backwards, okay? You can get both of them running together, which I have uh, happening right now, which I, <laughs> I didn't really expect to be doing, but there we go. So now they're both even running cycles, because I'm not using Eevee, I'm using cycles. This is Blender 2.79, and this with a camera is Blender 2.8, the beta. So we don't need to worry about that. Control Q will quit out of this version of Blender. I have uh, not made any other major decisions, but let me see if control Q, control Q, control Q. Okay. All right. No one panic. Uh Oh, <laughs> escape. Let's try that again. Maybe it was waiting for a command. Nope. Oh, that's very amusing. Oh, 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 oh it is waiting for something. I saw it. Did you see it? Oh my gosh. Run both. Oh, like, oh, exit Blender. Okay, here, it was hiding a dialogue. Some changes have not been saved. Do you really want to quit? Yes, please. I could probably turn that off in user preferences. Now, walking backwards a little bit farther, how did that happen? It happened by going to uh, the Blender website right here, and I could just go right to Blender, and you can see that it's still today saying get 279B. It is stable and happy, but here I could also get Blender 280 Beta, and that's right here, which makes perfect sense. If I download it, I certainly can download it, and it downloads a zip. The important thing, unpack the zip someplace. I unpacked the zip inside the folder I used to keep my Blender scenes. Once inside what I unpacked from the Blender website, I have, you know, the regular offenders, all the DLLs, this a README, the Python license, but more importantly, this little folder 2.80. On my computer, I have my regular Blender installs, and there is 2.68. Well, how did that happen? <laughs> and then here's uh, uh, 72747879. So all of those work from the same config file, and that's why it says, do you want to bring your settings? We don't want it to work from the same config file. When you install this, you won't have this. You will have script. Python, data files, no config. Go ahead in Windows and create a new folder. Call it config and then enter. It will be empty and it will be sitting right there. And then you can go back up and you can find the little icon for Blender and you can double click it and you will see that you have Blender 2.8. If you have another way of opening Blender, typically you can go to that and you still have Blender 2.79 because its configuration file is somewhere else. After using Blender 2.8, that config file might not be empty anymore. It now has the user preferences. That's it, man. You can bounce back and forth. Tomorrow when they come up with a new 2.8 build at the uh, blender.org website from the 2-8 area at blender.org, 
just download the new version of 2.8 beta. I have made sure I can eat my 2.8 cake and have 2.79 also. I hope this gets some of you new Blender users up to speed and also on familiar ground. Thanks for watching.